Hi everyone, my name is Isla Monocle. I'm Miss Randolph County's Teen 2024. I'm the founder and creator of You Know Me, Not My Story and the series You Know Them, Not Their Story. Welcome to season two, episode one of You Know Them, Not Their Story featuring Emily Dean's Miss Clinton's Teen 2024. Hello. Hey, how are you? Great, how are you? Good, good, good. So this is your second time on the you know them not their story podcast how are you feeling i'm feeling very like nostalgic right now like we were (laughs) sitting in the same places like you know a year ago and it was just like and look at us now right (laughs) so let's jump right into this uh tell me about your csi So my CSI is I Am Mad, Making a Difference. It's about encouraging teens to get out and volunteer in their communities and to to give back to their communities. Most importantly, um, I have a signature ETS. So explain, tell the benefits and set an example. And so I I teach that to teens and, and to encourage other teens to volunteer as well. Perfect. Thank you so much. And so... When you were on this podcast last time, I know, a year ago, um, it might be a little hard to remember, but when you were on the podcast, what was your story? So my story was kind of just, you know, the basic. I, I didn't like the way I looked, um, and and now being a title holder, it's, you know, it's given me a lot of confidence in myself, and I not that girl that I thought I was, you know, a year ago. And I actually put faith in myself. Um, and it's just, it's amazing to look back on things like that and, and reminisce on them and be like, you know, you, you had it. You just had to keep going. Oh my gosh, you're going to make me emotional. Stop. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, you just like, I can't even begin to like, describe how excited or like happy I am that you know we're both going to Miss North Carolina together right (laughs) and that was like our biggest thing and so I'm really really happy that we're in this situation right now um how has this title impacted you so this title has not only impacted my busy schedule that I have but it's impacted me like emotionally like it it's just it's a different feeling having that crown on your head. You know, I, I'd go to festivals and people would talk to you. Um, but having the title, it's just like changed all that. It's like, you're a princess now. And it's, it's just like that heartwarming feeling of it. Yeah, sure. It's the icing on the cake because I would have kept doing what I was doing if I didn't have the crown. Um, but it, it's just, the icing on the cake and it it's it's impacted me to become a better po- a better person in my life and just treat myself better honestly overall because I didn't think I could do it and the last prelim I was ever going to do I won so it was it's you know it I placed all year and wanted to give up um mm-hmm. But I just kept going. Something just kept telling me to go. <laughs> so I just kept going. Absolutely. Yeah. So I know way before you had your title, you have done a lot of things to make an impact, make a difference with your CSI. Um, so during your reign, how have you made a difference? So during my reign, I have um, actually created a brand. So I created t-shirts to sell for the American Heart Association. And it was just a grateful experience for me. Um, I, I sold, I think it was 17 t-shirts and all of $5 for each t-shirt went to the American Heart Association that helped me with my Teen of Impact. So I was also a Teen of Impact member of Annika's as during my reign. And this title has given me so many opportunities that I just wouldn't have had if I didn't have the crown and it's guided me so actually in August I'm I'm actually going to be working with the Franklin County Health Department with a camp for kids for the volunteer you know aspect because Franklin County is struggling on the volunteer aspect and so I'm I'm going to be working with them 
and I'm super excited about that. Um, I've, you know, created a website. I launched my website and that, that was a huge win for me because I had been working on that forever and it, I finally got it up and I got to share that with some people and it's, it's just been so, such a great opportunity to have the title of Miss Clinton's team and to, to go to Clinton, you know, every weekend it might, you know, be a hassle, but it, it really warms my heart and to see, you know, the town of Clinton come together and, and to support me. Absolutely. I, I love what you've been doing on social media. You are killing it. Um, you are doing absolutely everything that you can to promote your CSI, which is amazing. And I love that you're empowering other, um, not only young women, but other teens in general to get out in their community and volunteer. And I absolutely love that you're able to do that with your plat- with your platform and also with your title. And I know that even if you didn't have this title, you still would have been doing that, which is amazing to see so many teens have such initiative and um, such pride in their work. And that's something that um, I really, I, I love about the Miss America opportunity because it gives teens this opportunity to um, get out in the community, volunteer, show others like to not be afraid to volunteer because, you know, others might think that it's not for them. And I love that you're using your platform to show that it's for everyone. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so who or what inspired you to compete in the Miss America system? So actually my sister competed in the system uh, when it was the Miss America organization. And, you know, everything has changed since then. Um, but I was her Carolina princess at the time, now that are Carolina stars. And I went along with her to every single prelim. And it was, it was just so heartwarming to me because to see people like Taylor Beach and, and people like, Carly and Mara even and it's it's been just so heartwarming to see the people you know grow up and become pageant coaches and get married and and it was time for me to step in and do it and so a year ago I competed in a little festival pageant and didn't get anything but was encouraged to go do Miss Wilson and so I went to go do Miss Wilson and then I didn't get anything there so I always loved Miss Cora and so I went to do Miss Johnson County and didn't get anything and I was getting serious about it. I took the summer to just think about it and watch Miss North Carolina and because I was new to the system again and at Lord knows everything has changed <laughs> and so I had to learn everything again and so my sister really is my number one fan and encouraged me to pursue what she never got to do. And she's always told me that she's going to Miss North Carolina through me. And so it, it makes me really happy to, to see my sister, you know, with filled with joy again, because she never got the opportunity to go to Miss North Carolina, but she did compete in a lot of prelims and, and she did never, she never gave up. And that really encouraged me not to give up and, Mm-hmm. And that's another thing I love about Miss America is, you know, you could do a trillion of them and you still have the passion, you still have the fire to do it. And um, it encourages persistence and perseverance, which is amazing and absolutely should be a quality in a pageant, any pageant. Yes, definitely, definitely. All right, we are all done. Okay. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, It was amazing to have you back. I love you so, so much. Yes, I love you. Thank you. Of course. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Yes. Bye. Bye.